Hey makers, this is Thruveen and in this episode, I am going to talk about how we can get apps GUID inside the Power App screen. Yes, you have heard correctly. Sometimes we have a requirement where we need apps GUID inside the Power Apps itself and we need to pass that value as a parameter to our Power Automate flow or somewhere else. So how we can get the Power Apps app ID inside the Power App screen. We are going to talk about that thing in detail throughout this video. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter handle, do follow me over there because these are the platform where I am uploading short content on Power Platform. So without further delay, let's get started and check out the solution that how we can get the app ID inside the Power App screen. So let's get started. In order to get started for Power Apps ID, basically first of all we need to connect Power Apps for Maker connector. For that, go to the data source section, click on add data and search here for Power Apps for Maker. So just click on that and that will add this new connector inside your app. So I already added that so I am not re-adding that again. Now let me just add one new screen and let me just add a collection method over here. So first of all, I'm trying to show you what are the properties that we are getting with this connector. So I'm just taking one button control over here and now I'm just creating one collection. So I'm just creating a collection clear collect and inside that I'm just passing my apps collection and inside that let's provide power apps for maker dot get apps function so i'm just using power apps for maker and it will uh, show you the suggestion and there is an option called get apps so you need to use get apps and you need to complete the bracket and after that just start and end the bracket and whatever the apps that are available into this environment it will provide us that thing to us so that's it. So this is created the collection called my apps. So I'm just clicking on button to check the value from collection. So now let's go and see the collection. So my apps is a collection and you can see here ID, name, property, tag and type. So if we expand this property node, there is a property called display name. So let's see. So this is the name of the app. So we know that my power apps name is get time zone. So using my display name, I will get the ID property, right? So now what can I do here if I need this value? So for an example, for that, I will just place one label control over here. And yeah, let's just use our collection for filtering. So I'm just using filter. And inside the filter, I need to use the same code. My data source will be this one. So I need to pass that. So let's pass filter this thing. Properties dot display name is equal to get time zone. So if we go to our collection, this is the collection. And over here, this is the node properties. And inside that we have display name. So we need to write like that. So let's add a condition for filtering properties dot display name is equal to what is the name of the current app that is get time zone. So according to that, it will return us the GUID of the app, right? Still, it is giving us an error because we have used the filter function inside the label. So after that, we need to use first function, whatever the first value will be. 
we need to grab that so complete the bracket and name property we need that so let's get the name property so the overall code will be looking like this just format the code so the function or formula will looking like this power for maker dot get apps dot value that is the filter parameter where display name is equal to this app and we need the GUID so for that we need the name property right so this is how you can simply get your current apps ID inside your power app screen now you can store this value to any of your set variable or update context variable or pass that anywhere where you want so many times where you are implementing deep links at that time as well you need to pass the app id dynamically so this is the thing that will helpful to you hope this tip is helpful to you and values your time and this is how simply you can get the app id inside your power apps and don't worry the code for this function is available to my github repository as well as the description box of this video so you can copy and paste and use that in your application if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me if you are looking for any consultancy this is the website link if you wanted to follow me on all my social media handles along with the podcast platform all the links are available on the banner of the channel page and i recommend everyone to follow my another channel called Digital Dhruvin where I am uploading short content on Power Platform along with Hindi content on Power Platform. So subscribe this channel and show your love over here as well. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.